Okay, so we're here with Metal Shop TV, and next to me is sitting the legend, the man himself, Max Cavalera. How are you doing? Good. Good to be here. How are you? Uh, you're the headliner, so that must be really cool to sort of close it and destroy it. <laughs> yeah, it puts a lot of pressure, but uh, we're, we're starting to get used to it. There was more of those in this tour. We did one in Belgium. We headline over Black Label Society and Rob Zombie. Um, so we're getting good at it. You know, we had a really good show. So I think we can do a really good show tonight too. And I really like this this festival idea because you don't see too many uh, big names headliner. You know, it's more like uh, for the people, for the fans. You know, and I think it's you know like tonight is uh, us and Mayhem, so Fly and Mayhem are the headliners. You know, and uh, like tomorrow Cannibal Corpse and Creator. You know, so. Um, I think that's it's it's really cool. I hope this festival stays like this because it's, it's one of the few in in uh, in Europe like this right now. But I feel that we have uh, big responsibility to really bring a, a great show. But we will. <laughs> yeah, cool. uh, do you feel that Europe and the festival scene treats you really well? Because it seems like you're playing here really often, which is cool. Yeah, we we do really good we have a good reaction from f fans and uh we l love to play these festivals you know and uh whenever we have a chance to do it we uh we love to do it and so we we've been invited for more of these festivals every year and we love to do it so i think uh it's for me it's it's, it's awesome uh interaction with the crowd it's amazing in this kind of festivals so when it comes to concerts set lists or festival set lists, do you tend to, to pick out the songs that are like uh, best of or the most famous songs? Or do you try to maybe surprise your hardcore fans? A little bit of both, you know. Um, of course, you, you, you have to play uh, favorite songs like Roots, uh, Eye for an Eye, you know, uh, Prophecy, Primitive. But we also like to to do like tonight. We do World Scum and um, Front Lines. We open with yeah. Front Lines, which is an, an very voice. very unheard. Of so I think Soulfly fans will be quite surprised by yeah. the first song. It's a fast, brutal song from Dark Ages, you know. So they are not used to that. So that's going to be really cool. So onto the new album. Your new album is called Archangel. And it comes out in a few weeks, I guess. Yeah, ten days. days. I think ten days. So, Archangel, uh, why that title? And does it mean that the songs on the album are inspired directly by it? Some of it. Half of the album is some kind of biblical references. Like the lyric video, it's out now on on YouTube. It's called Sodomites. That's like about the destruction of Sodom from the Old Testament. And we have another song called Bethlehem's Blood. is about the killing of the infants in Bethlehem and the betrayal of, of Christ in uh, Gethsemane. But we also have some songs about Babylonian Empire, like Ishtar Rising and Shamash, which is sun god of Babylon. And there's some songs that are complete non-biblical and, and non um, exotic like we sold our souls to metal which we play tonight and living life hard which is about touring and living this crazy life on the road that you like six seven days without shower and yeah. you know it's fun <laughs> like hard hard life you know yeah, yeah. so I think the album's got a little bit for everything but I, I chose Archangel for the name because I think the imagery of the Michael Archangel is very strong with a with a weapon killing the devil, and uh, yeah, it looked really good. Uh, we have a really good uh, artist, Eliran Cantor, made the artwork for us. The artwork looks amazing, and yeah, and uh, so we are very uh, very happy that uh, we made this record. So it's very different from our last record, Savages, and I think that for me is the best thing about Archangel. That is a different record. Yeah. Oh well, that was my another question because I was wondering. 
if there's one thing that Archangel has that haven't, hasn't been on any other Soulfly record, what is it? Um, some of the, the biblical elements, you know, um, like even like chanting. I did chanting with my voice. Yeah. Um, and there's some like Kabbalah chanting and some very old. Um, I use words from uh, the time of the language of Jesus, which is Amorite. So I pick some really strange words like that. And there's some um, some Babylonian words. And uh, so it's full of this, this really uh, mystic, exotic things that makes the album uh, quite quite strange and cool and dark even in some points. And I think if you compare uh, Archangel to Soulfly 1, I think what's interesting is I think the, the tribalism of Soulfly 1, which was full of tribal stuff, yeah. uh, Archangel is the same, same sort of album of Soulfly 1, except the, the tribal stuff is being replaced by biblical apocalyptic stuff. So it took the took instead of using tribal stuff, we use apocalyptic biblical stuff. But the majority of the material is very metal. It's a very metal album, and that's what I like about Archangel. In its core, in a, in a soul of the the Archangel album is a very very metal record, and uh, I think that's it's cool. I think that shows my proximity with the metal scene today is, is stronger than ever. I love new bands. I get in contact with a lot of new bands and we have some of them singing on the record. Nails, Todd Jones from Nails singing Sodomites. Matt from King Parrot sings on Live Life Hard. And, uh, you know, I love Our Penance and, uh, you know, uh, Belfagor, Behemoth. I'm friends with all these guys. All these so, guys. so you're really into extreme stuff? I like a lot of it, a lot of extreme stuff. That's what I listen to in my yeah. my spare time. Yeah, uh, yeah. And this festival has, has got our penance tomorrow, benighted tomorrow. I, I almost wish I was, was playing tomorrow, <laughs> but today was cool. We got Melakesh. I saw yeah. Melakesh. One of my favorite bands ever is Melakesh. It's awesome. So, we the new record is more biblical, like you said but also it's got that extreme elements. Yeah. Do you think it goes well together? I think so. I mean, it works, you know, I think, um, because the topics I picked from the Old Testament are very heavy topics, like yeah. Sodomites, the destruction of Sodom is a very heavy, almost like a black stain on the, on the Bible, you know, like it's, it's, a, it's a hardcore story. And a song like Sodomites, which for me is almost like the perfect Soulfly song. It's got the Black Sabbath groove riff in the beginning. It's got the, the catchy chorus in the middle, and it's got the fast ending with the trash ending. It's the perfect Soulfly yeah. style song, you know, so it's, I'm, I'm very happy with that. So what are, what are the plans for the rest of the year for Soulfly? We gonna tour and tour and tour until we drop dead. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, we got a U.S. tour with Decapitated and Soil Work. Um, I think we have another U.S. tour with Crowbar, and then we come back to Europe in July. In, I mean, January, for three months. We're gonna try to make a, a mini festival called Maximum Cavalera, <laughs> and it's gonna be all Cavalera-related bands plus guests. Some special bands that we bring with us like a, big family. like a like a festival family type thing so hopefully that would would be for three months in in uh, in europe in january and hope we get to come back to czech republic because i have many fans here and i'm very 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 happy to come here and play for the czech fans i think that they are amazing fans okay. thank you so much max cavalera <laughs> Just like they say, I said the car.